We're going to show a number of exercises this morning to enable us to get in the proper position to hit this golf ball. The first one we call the wall drill. Now he will incline from the ball and socket joints until his buttocks are against the wall. Now so many people try to turn the right hip back into that wall, it's wrong. First movement is a lateral flexion of your spine from the bottom like a pendulum, the weight on the bottom of a pendulum working that way. The second movement is an anterior rotation of the left buttocks pulling it off the wall. Your left thigh is, is doing an adduction here. The left knee is doing a flexion and the left heel is raising. That frees up the left side so it can turn. Now when you come back to the other side, you've got to move the left hip against the wall and this is turning out so it can revolve between the ball and your spine. Okay? You never try to turn the left hip. If you out do of the that, way. you negate all the power of the legs and body. Mm -hmm. Now there, there. Mm -hmm. You understand that I'm not just standing here with my hips between the heels. I'm moving now where I'm balanced on the right leg. So I have a support underneath the spine, but the spine is tilting like a swinging action of a pendulum that way. Now this left side is turning out around the right. The left hip leaves and the buttocks of left hip leaves that and it comes in causing a shortening of the, this hip joint, the knee joint, and the lifting of that left heel allows the knees to spread more. So if I tried to spin yeah. my hip out of the way, then your head no, moves. So really, show, I'm just moving right yeah. with the wall. Yeah, yeah, but mm. you're moving the, what we call the support. Now your right leg is support, and your left leg is a rotator, okay? Mm. And then your left leg is support, and your right leg is a rotator, which takes the right side through. Okay. Now, it, can we take it from the side, seeing this separation from the wall of this buttocks? Now, this wall, is, this thing going to sit here, go back to where it started, and this is turning around like that. So, so the you, right side works to it, yeah, as opposed to back shifting. Like right. That. And the wall, well, what a drill. Yeah. Ooh. That way. Now, see this? This heel is raising, this knee is flexing. When you do that, watch this. The femoris flexor, is working right here, causing this knee to bend. The rectus femoris is working here, comes in here like that and lifts this thigh outward. The gastrox and soleus muscles down here are allowing that heel to raise. Okay? It's like a loose feeling. Yeah, huh? you have to have that detached so this thing can swing, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, when you go back down, now the you're setting the heel back down with the tertius and peroneus. You're, you're lifting this gastroc and soleus. You set it back down with these two muscles come in here. Now as you come back this way, this muscle is flexing, this muscle is flexing. The internal vastus is, is pulling the leg in there. Then the sartorius muscle is turning. The longest muscle comes from right here, goes down here, and connects on the other side of that joint, on the inside, like that. Those are the number of the muscles in play to, to do this exercise. Now, if we're going to swing your arms back, it's going to help, help the shoulders turn, and the left shoulder is pulling away from that spine, giving us a separation of this left arm from 6 o'clock down here. It's 12 is up there, but the left arm will go back to 11. It's 12. 11, 10, 9. So that's it, and the hands will be cocked 90 degrees. The arm is separated from the ball. 150 gives you a total of uh, 240 degrees separation of that club head from that ball. Now, when you move, you're moving laterally. You're using the femoris flexor muscle here, rectus femoris here. 
the sartorius coming from right here around to the front like that, which turns that leg, internal basis there. The gas truck and solus lift the heel, freeze this up. So you have a supporting side and a rotating side. You cannot turn the right hip past this wall, it's blocking. But you can turn the hip away from the wall, letting the body do an anterior rotation around toward the ball. While that's happening, the femoris flexor is flexing the knee. The gastroc is raising the heel. The internal vasus is pulling this thing in here, and this sartorius muscle coming here, going right around, they're turning it out. Now that's position, your shoulders will be like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, now to come out of that, the, the leg is like a extension of your spine. Now you got some support. Now you don't have support if you pull the hip back. Okay? Now sure. there, now you're gonna revolve. You can't revolve if you're attached. You have to detach the heel. Free up the knee and this hip, and this hip is coming here, which gives you a, a compound action, a shift of weight. Well, as if you try to get your left hip out of the way, your shoulders You cannot do it, off. your head's gonna move, you wobble. You gotta keep here and move the center of gravity Ball. out to the front. Mm -hmm. Keep your swing circle center on the center line. Mm -hmm. Okay, see, swing circle center is the base of the neck, top of the rib cage. It's called the seventh cervical. You have seven vertebrae from the skull down to here. And the operation of that action right here allows the shoulder, the hip, the knee to rotate between the spine and the ball. Okay. Now, we're gonna look at it from right side. You're looking this way so you can see the motion through the hitting area on the ball swing. We got the motion on the back swing. Now, go back to the top of the back swing. All right. Mm. Now, yeah. Now, as you come down, this hip is going to return to the wall, but it's moving forward. That's coming under. Now, at this point, the hands will come on over. Okay? Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. Let this it makes go. it work to the ball. Yeah. I mean, there's no way to... You're not waking away from me, you're working mm -hmm. into it. Both ways. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. That, if you'll take a swing out here now, step away from the wall, make a swing, and do the full action so you can see how it's using the legs to support the body. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, this is an excellent exercise because if you turn your right hip, there's nothing holding you up. It's doing that, and your head will move. But if you do what I tell you to do, your head will stay here. Then you can revolve without moving. And you go this way, and you can revolve. I can't use this leg and 70% loss of locomotion from a stroke I had. Okay? Mm -hmm. Do another swing this way. S yeah, swing toward the camera. Okay? So you can see how this, this hip is working anteriorly. This is flexing, that's flexing and the heel is raising right there. Now he raises the arms, which, which help the shoulder blades get 20 degree more backswing. Now shift, down, out. Okay, see how the center of gravity is. This is center of gravity right here. This is swing circle center. So you have to identify those two centers. Very important to the golf swing, okay? As opposed to? That, yeah, that's moving your head. You're not trying to hit it with your ear. You're so you really to... don't try to get your left hip out of the way, do you? Hell, if you do that, you're in a negative position. Mm -hmm. You're not getting the leg power, mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. Nor do you have a support for the swing. See, this side, that's the support. You've got to have the supporting side detach the other side so it can rotate. You can't rotate if that's locked to the ground, that left heel, right? Mm -hmm. So when you do it like that, that has to, that heel has to raise. The knee has to flex, the hip joint. Well, that it, really winds you back and yeah. 
Products of London. Now.